Dragon Limit pulls the wild boar up into the tree. Thea and Charlie are a couple trapped in the doldrums of routine, at least until the noise from their neighbor's apartment invades their lives. Every single moment of the day, and night for that matter. He's gonna wear out his asshole. There is a bit of real life experience. We did have a neighbor uh, who uh, lived on the other side of a very thin wall and uh, did have some like very loud uh, activities at all times of the day. He's gonna wear out his asshole. <laughs> but it's also, you know, the film I, I think deals a lot with questions of obsession and fixation and how when you're sort of settled into a routine and you're a bit isolated, there's a degree of loneliness, there's a degree of um, being starved for stimulation or for something new. Like those are ideas that I've always been really interested in as a director. It's a common situation for New Yorkers or apartment dwellers everywhere. Still, the filmmakers hope audiences will relate to the characters in more intimate ways. We wanted to look at a couple that was in a phase of their relationship where they were just overly comfortable with one another and overly settled and both in need of something to shake things up and, and sort of reignite things for them. Guys, wow, this is unhealthy. I think sometimes we all fall into that in our relationships and that's a, a totally normal thing. But it felt critical for there to be real love between the two of them so that that could ignite and that connection could wake up again through this relationship with this third person. You might recognize Adina Verson, fresh off her breakthrough role in the second season of Only Murders in the Building. Michael Brown goes head to head as her partner. And yes, those are Dana Delaney and Dylan Baker in supporting roles. Most of the actors have worked with Mike Donahue in the theater, but what brings a seasoned stage director to film? I think there are there are storytelling devices available to you in film that aren't available in theater. Uh, like the way in which you can deploy narrative across time. Something that we talked about when we were first structuring Troy, being really interested in working with a lot of quick cuts, being interested in working with a lot of montages. In theater, it's really hard to change locations um, unless you're doing theater with nothing but the actors. So getting to tell a story across like 24 hours or 48 hours and really see the shift in two people's relationship to something and the accumulation of a repetition of a thing um, and that sense of pacing and that sense of timing was really exciting to me. The couple that stalks together stays together. Catch Troy now and wait for Michael Donahue's next film. It will not take too long. I, I uh, feel so addicted to it. I can't wait to be back on set for something. Oh, 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 oh.